Hi guys, Dustin Van Fleet from Dustin Van Fleet Design down here in Valdosta, South Georgia. When we last met, we were mixing for the first time our Junkyard Goddess Milk Paint, which was the first time that I've ever done it or done any milk paint of any kind. So now we're going to play. I like the rustiness of the roof on this that John will get a close up of. It's really neat. I built it myself out of like 100 year old barn board. That's 100 year old tan that we put on and everything. So now we're just going to kind of play with it a little bit and kind of see exactly what this stuff is all about. Because like I said, for many of you guys, it's your first time seeing it. Well, it's also my first time really ever dealing with it. So we're not really gonna paint this guy, like dark, dark. We want him to look old. And we want him to kind of be washed. But it's our first time ever using milk paint, which was sent to us by Junkyard Goddess. Thank you so much for sending it over to us so that we can play with it and see exactly what's happening. But as you see, this 100-year-old wood is really, really tattered, so it's kind of cool because it's just not going to let you paint it, paint it brutally. Not one solid color, which is pretty neat because that really wasn't my thought process anyway. I just wanted to add a little bit of drama to them. So what I do on things like this, since we're learning, we've already pre-done this. So, I'll pull down from this part. That way we know we can control the darkness. We also know mm, there's not enough on there. It doesn't look good compared to up here. So, let's pull down so that we can kind of match it up. We'll pull down again. Using a smaller brush than I normally would because to me this is almost like a fun crafty project But I just wanted to do something fun to see what milk paint was all about before I pulled out like a $5,000 dresser or something just to go off on it. I would always say when you're using something new like this Start out on something fun like this and I'm kind of loving it We all know as I've said before that Dixie Belt is my jam and the only thing that I use in the chalk mineral paint world. But this is a little bit different. I've never used the milk paint before. So, kind of fun playing with something a little bit different. Get some on here. It's just kind of like making it look almost a lot like driftwood. So we're gonna pull down again because we started up here. So we're gonna go kind of white and just pull down so that we know that the top doesn't look weirdly different from where we're adding it to. I always paint everything going from top the bottom that way you don't have a whole lot of extra drips whereas if you start at the bottom and the base on everything which I pre did on this for you guys so that you guys wouldn't have to watch it but uh, if you start at the bottom and work your way up you can get a lot of mistakes that way and you can start dripping on something bigger as you come down which is not cool so we'll come down right here it's giving a really cool age look. I built this, so this is kind of like my baby that I've had laying around for a while. It really is 100 year old barn board and it really is um, 100 year old tent from an actual building that we help take down. So we're going over it. We'll get right here. I'm going against the grain of the wood on this one. Typically I go with when I'm going with a finer finish. 
I want this to be really, really rustic, and I don't want it all to soak in. So in a lot of places, I'm going against the grain of the wood. So we'll come back around here. I think it looks a little bit light up here. So we're gonna play with it. We'll drag it down. We'll see if we can deepen and richen this up a little bit. fun playing with this though. It really does give a unique perspective and a little bit different look than what we're all used to. But, as I've said before, you know when it gets right down to it, when I'm doing chalk and mineral painting, it's going to be Dixie Bell to the rescue forever. My absolute favorite products ever. three tablespoons full of this and I think it's gonna do more than what we need so that shows you exactly just how far this stuff is gonna go we've got plenty of it in here so I'm just gonna keep playing and keep showing you guys what it's like and keep pulling down from the top down want it to be aged in weather but I do want it to look like it's been painted so I'm not looking just to have a wash on this now this is a really interesting color to me because when you look in here to me it looks a lot darker it's really beautiful the way that it's coming out but it looks a little bit deeper and richer inside of the container when you make it. So I call this kind of like doing frosted flakes. We're just kind of like frosting him up, but we don't want to 100% paint him where he just looks like a regular painted piece. That would kind of defeat the purpose of using this stuff and really wouldn't be most optimal to make him look cool. Put some more of this on. Really want to highlight these up. Now this paint actually has glitter in it, which is gonna be very interesting when it dries. I don't think it has a ton of glitter, but it also comes with a really neat um, glitter wax. But if I was doing anything that wasn't this rustic, I'd probably bust it out and use it. But on something this rustic, I don't think we need to use the glitter wax at all. really pull up in the area and kind of blend the areas that don't have as much paint. We'll come back around here. We'll say this was the very beginning where I was afraid. Now I know it's awesome. So we'll just take him around. Really impressed with the product. Very neat. Again, this is Junkyard Goddess Milk Paint. She was nice enough to send me sample. And she's sending me a lot more sample. So it'll just be really cool to see what the different colors do and things of that nature. But we'll go back over here now. And that is the look that I'm kind of looking to create on this bad boy. So I think we've got a weathered, washed look on the outside. So again, we use Junkyard Goddess Milk Paint. It's just equal 50-50. So we use three tablespoons in here. 
then we put three tablespoons of water in here. We mix it together with a little bit warm water with a spoon. Comes out really nice and creamy. Gives you a really cool look. Uh, and I wanna say thank you for sending me these samples. And I can't wait to get additional samples with additional colors. And thank you guys for joining us on our first time ever of using milk paint. And my suggestion to you is don't be afraid. Just go for it. It's just mixing some water and some powder. Thanks. I'll see you on the flip side.